a serial entrepreneur and COO of Alpha Traders. He's representing both Australia and Sri Lanka. Please put your hands together for Sachi Vikramaran. You right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Rita. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I see some of you on your computers and on your phones taking care of extremely important personal matters. Can I please have your undivided attention for ten seconds on this next slide that I'm going to show? You? Yes. An estimated 1.25 billion animals perished, 40 million hectares burned, more than 3,000 houses destroyed, and 33 people died, including brave and courageous firefighters. I've seen this devastation through my own eyes. Trust me. You don't want to see. Nature doesn't tolerate, not anymore. Global warming is not a myth, it's a fact. There is enough talk about climate change. But let me ask you, is there enough climate action to save life on land and life below water for our future generations? We need to act fast, and we need to act now. What can we, as technology entrepreneurs, social innovators, and as individuals, do in our own contexts to save this planet Earth? It's good for us to focus on solutions that can scale in reducing the global carbon emissions to be net zero emissions by 2050. However, we cannot wait for anyone else to do this on behalf of us. We have to take actions. I encourage all of us to start taking simple, viable micro actions starting today. And if you all do so, collectively these actions can have a mammoth impact globally. Let's look at some of these actions, as I call it. My corrections. What if we don't drive to work anymore, even if our vehicles are electric? And let's try to use public transportation as much as possible. And whenever possible, try to cycle to work. You know what the bonus is? You'll be healthier. Right? And this is my favorite. Let's encourage telecommuting. Let's get our employees to work from home more often. This is going to significantly reduce the carbon emissions by all of our employees. And also, let's try to reduce working, rather, traveling for meetings to meet our customers, our clients. I dare you to encourage your customers to get on board video conferencing platforms such as Zoom, GoToMeeting, Google Hangouts Meet. I do so. And also, let's look at something else. Let's try to reduce the paper wastage at work. We know how long our agreements and documents are. Let's get all of these into digital platforms such as PandaDoc, DocuSign, and get rid of this paper. And also, I encourage, let's experiment with techniques such as hot testing at office. Factually, this is proven to be a very effective way of reducing paperwork. You know why? Because if you change tables every day, it's very difficult for us to pile up paper around us. And 
Let's definitely focus on reducing our energy consumption. How can we do that? Simple automation techniques such as turning off all office lights, air conditioning and heating at 6.30 p.m. daily can help us do that. And what about those employees who like to stay late and work late? Let them turn it on only if they want to. But automate them to be turned off automatically on a daily basis. And also when not in use, let's unplug those devices so we can save that smart standby power consumption as well. And in general, let's try to reduce the usage of air conditioning and heating at least by a little bit. It will go a long way. And at home, we can do the same. Plus, we can focus on reducing our water footprint. Did you know, on average, our showers pump out 8 litres of water per minute? And statistically, we take on average 10 minutes to shower. Do the math. That's 80 litres of water per person per shower. This is something I practice myself. Whenever you want to go to the shower, put a time on your phone for 5 minutes. And be effective in your shower. You can cut down the water consumption just by 50% itself by doing that. And there is 40 litres of water saved per person. Imagine the scale at a global level. And also, think about the reduction in burden for water purification systems. The reduction in energy consumption because of this. And also, this encourages us for the another SPG, which is for responsible consumption of resources. And this leads towards reduced material footprint as well. And these are just few things that we can easily do, and there's many more. As of February, the world population is 7.8 billion people. What if all of us go home and plant a tree each? Then there will be 7.8 billion more trees to help fight climate change. It's time to act, but let's lead the way by taking simple, viable, practical actions starting today. Thank you. I can have a shower on the 10 minutes. <laughs> Just pull up the phone, five minutes timer. I'll try. That's what I do. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.